What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev. In this video, I'm going to share with you why I think you shouldn't go to a virtual coding bootcamp. If you guys are brand new to the channel, if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to keep making this content for you guys, and that's all we talk about here on this channel. In this one, I wanted to just really quickly share my thoughts about these virtual coding boot camps that are popping up right now, or the physical coding boot camps that are transitioning their curriculum to online during the quarantine. The first really big thing I think you should keep in mind if you're considering going to one of these virtual coding boot camps is that you're basically going to pay the same price of a coding boot camp to essentially take an online course without having the the one-on-one -on -one interactions with your classmates their tas the connection to your instructor who can really understand and get a, a really good feeling for you as an individual learner and you know how you think and they can really take time with you whether it's before class after class sit with you and work through things or explain things to you in a certain way or take you over to a whiteboard and draw something out like i just don't see how that is really going to be possible in a virtual classroom setting like i know there's a lot of tools you can use with screen sharing and everything like that but i think just the actual process of learning is different for everybody and i think for me it was really important to have somebody kind of in my corner who had watched me struggle with like a lot of bad habits early in the boot camp and she started to figure out that I usually overthought my problems. And so because I overthought my problems, I would overcomplicate my solutions a lot of times due to that. Me having a teacher who was able to talk to me every day and get to know my personality and understand how I think as a problem solver and watch my code develop throughout the boot camp, it really helped me when she was able to kind of tell me, hey, you're overthinking again, you know, you're overcomplicating this. You could have just done this and just showing me ways to simplify my code not necessarily saying that i was wrong but just showing me that do you see how much your overthinking impacts your code and how it blows up your solutions and makes your like a lot more lines of code be necessary so without having somebody right there with me every day to get an understanding of me as a person and my personality i feel like the learning would have been a lot more difficult. Not to mention that being at home is just not as stimulating of a learning environment as getting up every day and the rigor of being dedicated to waking up, being on time for class every day, not being able to be late. Otherwise, they kick you out of the program if you've like been late more than three times or something like that. I'm sure every boot camp has a different like attendance policy, but you know, like those things are all a part of the experience, I think. And Boot camps are a business, so you got to think that during this time, I'm not saying that they don't believe in their mission and what they're doing and trying to reskill people and you know help people transition careers and everything like that. But you have to consider that they are a business, and without students, they don't make any money, they don't make any profit. So them shifting their physical boot camp curriculum to a virtual online boot camp i think is kind of a desperate move to just continue making money throughout the quarantine because if you've built your business model around physically teaching students in a classroom and dedicated in classroom learning training the entire way the curriculum is structured is meant for individualized classroom learning settings I don't see how overnight you can just hit a switch and effectively transition that entire curriculum online and charge the same exact price for the and try to guarantee the same quality of teaching, the same quality of final projects and collaboration with other people. I just I'm not really sure how boot camps can feel confident in just so quickly transitioning from a classroom to online. Like I would never attend a online college or online university. And I definitely wouldn't recommend going to a, a online virtual coding bootcamp if it's going to cost you the same price as a regular bootcamp. Now, what I don't want anybody to, to take wrong here is that I'm saying don't go to virtual coding bootcamps at all. I'm just saying don't pay the full price of a physical in-person bootcamp to go to a virtual bootcamp. I'm not saying not to go to virtual bootcamps at all. Okay, um, I just want to make that point clear as well because the title of the video could be a little misleading, but you know, there are 
there are virtual coding boot camps like Lambda School that I don't believe charge you any money up front. So they still are on the pricier side for a coding boot camp. However, because it's a virtual boot camp, they don't actually charge you any money until you graduate, make a salary, and then they take a percentage of your salary. So if you're going to attend a virtual coding boot camp or if you're interested in doing that, I think that that model is much better especially during this time right now for people who are taking a chance they aren't sure if they're going to like coding they're not sure if this is the right career transition for them or they just want to try it out i definitely would recommend trying some sort of boot camp a virtual boot camp that would allow you to try it out or do some sort of like trial period where you don't owe any money or you're not locked into some sort of contract and you're kind of free to walk away anytime if it if it's not a good fit for you so that is the way I would choose to go if I was gonna recommend somebody to do a virtual coding bootcamp. The second big point I would I would really consider before somebody commits to going to an online virtual coding bootcamp is look at the curriculum and look at the stack of the languages that they're teaching and go do your research online and price out courses that would teach you, you know, all the intermediate to advanced stuff about every language that the bootcamp is offering in that stack and pretty much do a price comparison so let's just do a real quick example of what i mean so let's say you were going to a physical coding bootcamp that cost you ten thousand dollars that was gonna cost ten thousand dollars to attend in person and then due to quarantine they shift the bootcamp online but the price is still ten thousand dollars and let's say that bootcamp was going to teach you ruby on rails and react let's say those are the only two languages that they were going to teach you then what I would say is look online and see if you can find any all encompassing courses that teach Ruby and Rails and React and price them out. So price out courses on Udemy, price out courses on Kajabi or whatever your favorite e-learning platforms are. Price out all the different types of resources that are going to teach you the same languages and then compare the curriculum from your bootcamp to the curriculum of those courses. So are you building a console application? Are you building a web application? Are you building a single page application? Are you connecting to databases? You know, are you deploying the application? Like look and see, compare what the bootcamp is gonna have you do to the resources and courses you find online. And if you can find a course that's even, let's say $59, $60, that's gonna teach you Ruby and Rails and React front to back all the way through you're going to build a project you're going to deploy it you're going to do all those things in a 60 dollars course and you're going to take that course on udemy or take that course online somewhere then i would say that it makes more sense to spend 60 dollars learning that because you're still not going to get super personalized learning it's going to teach you the the basic same concepts um you just won't have as many opportunities to maybe ask questions or get individualized help but it's going to save you multi thousands of dollars at the end of the day and it's gonna basically equip you with almost the same thing depending on how willing to dedicate yourself to the learning you are. So I would just say, you know, go out there and compare what the curriculum of the bootcamp you're thinking about going to is teaching to all the resources you can find online for free or for very cheap. And then, like I said, compare them and see, can I come out cheaper teaching myself this? And if you can, then 100%, I would say avoid the virtual coding bootcamp just because I don't think the quality of education can really be there for somebody who's never coded before to take a, an intense eight to 16 week bootcamp online and try to build a final project and collab with other people that you've never met and worked with before in real life. And the teacher is going to be spread very thinly because they're helping a lot of people and they're helping a lot of people on video calls all the time throughout the day so it's going to be very hard to get individualized learning and stuff like that so i really just recommend you guys save the money if possible put the time in you know gather all your own resources and information put your own list of things together that you know can walk you through everything the boot camp was going to teach you whether it's books blogs articles forums tutorials courses whatever it is put your own curriculum together take it a little bit slower and just go step by step one line of code at a time and you know teach yourself those skills and, and skill yourself up on what the boot camp was going to teach you for like 10 or fifteen thousand dollars. yeah guys i hope this was helpful if you guys enjoyed that please make sure you guys like share subscribe it really helps me just like stay motivated to put these videos out for you guys leave me some comments down below let me know what you guys think are you going to a coding boot camp right now are you about to go to a virtual coding boot camp right now if so 
really interested to hear what your guys' experiences are with that. And also, if you're very, very brand new to coding, like haven't done any coding before, but you're thinking about transitioning or want to go to a coding bootcamp, check out the description box down below where I'm giving away my free intro to coding bootcamp course where I put everything that I wish I knew going into coding bootcamp in that course and all it costs is your email address. So make sure you guys check that out. Lastly, if you're looking for any additional resources or like a community of new developers to talk to and just ping ideas off of and things like that, make sure in the description box down below you guys get added to the private Facebook group that I've created. And we've got a lot of people over there getting added in and I put all the resources that I can't share in my description box and everything in all the videos I put over there for free in the Facebook group. So make sure you guys go over there and get added in so that uh, we can all continue learning and growing together on this journey. So almost at 300 subscribers, you guys, um, I really appreciate all the love. And uh, this is Darren with Darren the Dev. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.